Hey everybody, this is Kevin from SlideSpeak, and today I want to show you guys how you can summarize a PDF with JetGPT. I've prepared a little dummy PDF here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and open that. So this is the PDF. I just simply double-clicked on that file. Um, it has a couple of pages, um, and in order to like summarize this document, you can use JetGPT. What you have to do is you have to um, first uh, select the text from the entire PDF. So I started simply selecting um, the text by clicking and dragging with my cursor. And then I want to scroll to the very end of the PDF. Once I've selected all the text, you can see that everything is highlighted in this light blue. You can right click on it and then select copy. Um, what this will do is we'll copy the entire text from the PDF. And what we're going to do then is we're going to head over to JetGPT. So that would be chat.openai.com. Obviously, you have to sign in. And um, it will kind of depend if you pay for JetGPT or not. If you don't, then you will likely not be able to access JetGPT4. But then you can use 3.5. The results are going to be probably not as good with uh, 3.5, but it will do the job just fine. So let's go ahead with this now. Um, I have the text copied to my clipboard. Clipboard. I can simply paste it here in that field, and that will literally like paste the entire text that we just copied from the PDF. Um, don't send that as a message to ChatGPT just yet. What we'll do is we will add some text before that to instruct ChatGPT to summarize that text for us. So we'll write something like, can you summarize the text below for me in under 10 sentences, for example. If you're interested in like any specific information, like let's say you have a financial document and you're interested in the financial forecast for 2024, for example, then you can state that in that, in that summary request as well. So then you could write something like, can you summarize the financial forecast for 2024 for me in under 10 sentences, for example. So the more specific you make the prompt for JetGPT, the more accurate or tailored towards your needs the summary is going to be. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. So now you can click on the little send message button here. And then, and then as you can see, um, JetGPT will directly start summarizing the text for you. And uh, it might take a little while uh, for it to appear, but the summary should be fairly accurate. Um, once it is done, you can like simply go ahead and copy that text into a Word document or a PowerPoint presentation or anything you'd really like it to be. I additionally want to cover another case. For example, if the document is too big to be summarized by JetGPT, um, so for example, this document was, was not too, too big. Um, but let's say if the document has more than six pages, then this could become an issue. So this is, for example, the extended version of the document that we've just looked at. It has 13 pages. Um, if you actually select all the, all of the text, you could also do that with, um, command a, it's a nice little hack. It will select all the text, but if you then actually copy this into JetGPT and then ask it to summarize the text, summarize the following text for me in under 10 sentences, and then you paste it. Sometimes it will give you an error message that the text is too long. What you have to do in those situations is you have to chunk the text. So that means you will have to take, for example, the first two pages, ask it to write a summary of that. And then you have to copy the next two pages, ask it to write a summary and so on and so forth. So let's actually go ahead and edit this so we can um, generate a summary based off of that first two pages. So let's go in here, delete everything, summarize the following text, which is the first two pages of a longer PDF. And then you could actually um, just save and submit that. And that will then work. 
Um, and then what will happen is ultimately you will have multiple summaries and then you can just like put them together in a Word document, for example. Um, and that will help you to also like summarize bigger documents using ChatGPT. So now that we've covered the basics on how you can actually summarize um, a PDF file with ChatGPT on macOS, I want to quickly mention uh, SlideSpeak. That's our tool. It's um, specifically made to summarize documents, may it be PowerPoint files, Word files, or PDF files. And using SlideSpeak, you don't have to do any of the chunking if the file is too big. It will additionally also so, uh, include in the summary files, uh, images, and diagrams, and so on and so forth. So it's a very, very handy tool to kind of like do those kind of things for you. If you want to give it a try, you can simply head over to SlideSpeak, then click on Start Now, and then upload the document here. But real quick, so this is the same file here. I'll ask me for my email address real quick. And then once you've uploaded it, it will analyze the text and everything. And then you can also simply ask SlideSpeak to write a summary for you. So, so yeah, once the file is uploaded, it generates a preview here for you. And then you can just, just like with uh, JetGPT, ask it for a summary. Can you provide me with a summary for this document? And then instead of JetGPT, SlideSpeak will give you that document summary. And there's no limitations on how many pages that file has. That's the beauty of using a tool like SlideSpeak. It's specifically made for generating summaries and asking questions about the document. So for example, I could go ahead and ask it simply, what are the advantages of batteries in the renewable field? And then it will be able to answer that question for you, which is really cool. So overall, SlideSpeak is definitely a more advanced tool for chatting with your documents and getting PDF files summarized. But if you're trying to get this done with uh, JetGPT, you just have to keep in mind that you sometimes have to chunk the text into smaller pieces. If you guys have any questions um, about how SlideSpeak or JetGPT works in order to summarize documents, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.